Hello, do 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 there. My name is Jam Pop Bong, and welcome to a new series called Create Mod with Jam Pop Bong, building really big mechanical geese. Now you might be thinking, of course, this doesn't look much like Minecraft to me. Well, it sort of is. I'm playing a mod pack called Create Above and Beyond, which is of course most known for housing the Create mod. You, I definitely didn't rip this idea off from what some of the hermits are currently doing. It's fine, right? Yeah. Create mod is a very incredible Minecraft mod which allows you to use basically the laws of physics which don't usually apply to Minecraft and you have cool stuff like cogs and gears which you can use as an alternative to redstone to create huge industrial machines that can do incredible stuff like create trains and you can move large objects you wouldn't usually be able to move and which I am very excited about and you've probably seen the thumbnail and you'll know exactly what I'm building today because I'm Jam Pop Bong. So right here I have a super glue which means you can essentially glue any blocks together and have them move in the same way. So if I place this here, this will turn anything glued onto it into something that can be ridden in a minecart. So essentially, you probably know this from seeing Scar's new video, you can create moving houses on minecarts basically. Just anything big could be moving on minecarts. I'm not sure what the max size is, there probably is one. But look, my, my lovely polished diorite is going on a little trip. Isn't that amazing? This... <laughs> this would not be possible in vanilla, and I kind of hope it is one day. Now I'm wondering if barrier blocks would work as a super glueable item, because I mean they're still solid, normal shaped blocks despite not being seen. The glue is sticking, I'm supposing this will work, because then it will look like the giant goose I send on this trip is actually flying, and that might be bloody terrifying, but it's worth a shot. Oh god, imagine I unleashed this on the Metroverse currently. <laughs> We'd win the war straight away, <laughs> I think. And by the way, all this glue, it does disappear when the glue isn't in my offhand. A bit like how barrier blocks only show up when they're in your offhand. It's tough not here. Where's tough? Oh, don't, don't tell me this is pre-1.17, this mod pack. I can't get used to not using tough and deep slate. They're the only blocks people use nowadays. <laughs> I'll use cyan terracotta. I default to grey geese, you see, because grey lags are my favourite type of goose. Goose facts with jam pop bong. Building a goose has just become second nature now. I can easily just build a goose in seconds. I don't even have to think about it. My mind brings, brings it along with me, and out comes a goose. The rendering issue with the glue right here makes it look like it's got really weird nostrils or something. It's a nostril goose. Geese are weird in this land. Do I have any more grey blocks? Oh, Probably have to use the American spelling, won't I? Oh god, that's so unvanilla. <laughs> but I love it. Oh my goodness. I mean, I wouldn't want this in normal Minecraft because it would completely break the whole point of Minecraft, but it's quite fun here, my goose. I've got these toys and I might as well use them. Now he just looks like he got a really fat neck. We've got concrete bricks in this mod pack and chairs. You can have a chair top hat, just because. Oh yes, he looks so dapper in his chair hat. Uh. Oh no, I got glue on my chairs. <laughs> what, what have I created? Okay, it looks a bit better now I've taken the glue away. And now I suppose for the moment of truth. Get some rails. I'm creating a fairly lengthy track so it gets to go around on its merry way and I'm making sure it doesn't bump into too much. I'm not sure how it works with this, like does it halt if it bumps into something? I'm not sure. Alas, the barrier blocks didn't work for some reason so I'm finding something else. What block is this? <laughs> blum blum blum. That should do it, I mean it looks a bit funny but... Oh my god! I think the way it works is it renders it as one massive entity. Oh my god, it's actually quite terrifying, but it's beautiful. Oh, oh, we've got a breakage in the track, okay. Oh my god, this goose who I shall name, um, Gavin, he's, he's moving around my world. Imagine an entire Minecraft world where just absolutely ginormous geese... Oh, he's out of render distance. Imagine a Minecraft world where 
it's just full of giant geese that move around. Would that be amazing or terrifying? I'm honking towards the latter. Can I ride him? No. Ugh. Ah! <laughs> I can't keep up with him, he's a fast goose. <laughs> oh dear. So here we have it. I built a walking goose in Minecraft. Bet Mumbo didn't think of that one, did he? <laughs> it looks so majestic just riding into the sunset. I think that will be it for today, people, with my little Create Mod mini-series here. I'm going to be a bit busy on the channel. we got Metroverse episodes, and I'm starting a new vanilla single-player soon, which is going to be quite interesting. Ah, I nearly rode the goose. Anyway, my... Um, that will be it for today, but I will quickly reveal what my plan for this world is. In the next episode, we're going to build a goose train. Literally a goose train. Where it's just loads of geese connected to each other. Uh, <laughs> it's quite, it's going to be quite bonkers, anyway. Do subscribe if you want to see me build a goose train. <laughs> oh, oh, it's coming! Toodle pip! Create mod with jam pot bong. Building really big mechanical geese.